yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we should always be reminded of that, you know, just uh, uh, making sure that we are uh, fellowshipping with the Lord and taking time to enjoy Him. And uh, yeah, Chris too, uh, like I said, you know, you know that he is uh, a genuine believer because through his testimony and his experiences, we know that he is sold out for the Lord, but you know, lately he's been he's been uh, getting himself into some, uh, you know, some traps. You know, Peculiar? yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, so. it's kind of caused me to uh, take a step back and because, like, what what Chris is doing, like, it you know started off I think sincere, but when you're dealing with the devil and not put on the whole armor of God, you're responding with that ego. And like you said, Chris is a genuine believer. And I love brother Chris and I have nothing but respect for his boldness. I'm sure Satan attacked him harder than most people ever on earth, but you could tell that the devil affected him. And now it's, you know, like you said, it's, he's going into some traps that, you know, my heart's hurting for him. It, that That's why I think that's what I'm trying to say is that I feel for him so deeply. I don't want him to go down this road. You know, there was never just group prayer, just besides, you know. What do I got to be a perfect man? I should have rang everyone up in a circle out there on the grass. That's why we're building a church. You're saying it's all about the church, Josh. It's all about the church because that's how we have group prayer, you idiot. Casting demons out of each other here and there and just praying deliverance. There was no other prayers really other than that. And no Bible reading. And, you know, even William, he... I'm, but, I'm, I'm getting a little worn... I'm getting worn out on the Trinity thing. Dude, okay. We're I'm not, to I'm not worn channel. out. What? We have a channel that we made called Unmasking the Triune God. Dude, we're about to... We were... I don't know, man. We're about to embark on this serious journey of of going against the trinity and we made a channel called unmasking the triune god oh gosh but we don't know like because it's starting to notice that it's taking a lot of attention away from time dude it's from more important ministry you know like repentance the walk sin holiness it takes a lot of time because it's a deep rabbit hole i think we should just shut that channel down and go back to what we were doing I don't. I we think don't have the. Kind it would of cause more messages. contention than it would anything else. It's just not important right now. I got my job. I got to build the church. All this stuff. Yeah. I can't make a regular video. Then I'm gonna take the little bit of time I have and. Because so many, this garbage, so many you know? things have to be addressed when you deal with the Trinity. It is a deep, deep rabbit hole, man. It really. Go is. to. Did you see the Trinity delusion? No. It's a literally a channel called the Trinity Delusion. Dude, he he could do. I mean, he takes too long to get his point across, but he refuted every single scripture Trinitarians ever used, methodically and like broke it down scripturally. And and, and it's it's interesting, man. You just got to be open and sensitive to Holy Spirit. And and he he's not like me. I'm way more hated. Like he's got almost all thumbs up on his videos. Sorry I don't sit there looking like a panic-stricken, fearful, anxiety attack psychopath like you, Dan. I'm sorry that you're jealous that there's people out there that are actually confident in what they believe. And you're right, out. bro, you're right. All right, but okay, that's, what, that's all I want to do. Bro, you're right, but guess what? I've been doing this too long to care. I get it. So that's what we wanted to hear today. We wanted to hear today that what you're saying okay. is, I get you're saying that you're right, but sometimes like a little... Antsy, but, but, bro, I don't really want to hear it. I don't got time for it. Yeah, like, but that's, bro, that's also, you're antsy because you take my confidence as arrogance. Do you understand? No, 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 no,
No, I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Okay, you know what? We're getting nowhere. Okay, guys, stop. We're getting nowhere. Yeah, I mean, what would uh, what would other uh, new new believers, new Christians uh, think when they watch that? You know, like mocking and making fun of people and uh, name calling and saying like you know these things on on YouTube and and uh, you know I mentioned on the video that he wasn't he wasn't necessarily uh, you know giving people this life and this enjoyment and sharing the fruits of that and showing the, the fruits of the spirit and uh, you know teaching people certain truth but it was just mostly like you know rebuking and it's carnal yeah 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 and um yeah he he needs to he needs to see that and you know this is not like a a, a correction to bring him down you know like you said yeah, no, exactly. you know it's, it's it's mainly to edify him and perfect him like ephesians talks about 